What's up, Supper Club? Well, this morning we are at Psychoactive. So it's literally last man standing. You're not fighting anyone here, man, but you. Yeah. Your heart, your mind, your legs. You were human talent. Well, this morning we are at Psychoactive. Brought some guests along. We're gonna have some fun today. Every lap, the pace will get faster and faster and faster. And then at some point in time, you just can't go any faster. And so you tap out, last person standing. It should be a good time. Massive thank you guys for coming out. Go the direction that the arrow is telling you. Are there any questions on that? Here we go in three. So in these ultra marathons, it's important to get out front to really show everybody who's the boss. Show your dominance early. God. This is great, everyone's suffering. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I just really wanted to get this shot and I knew that I was going to need every minute if I was going to finish these laps, especially as the race gets longer. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Rain dance, baby. Dude, I love it. I love it. <laughs> if you're not familiar with the psychoactive race, every five laps you lose one minute to complete that lap. We start the race with 20 minutes. Make sure you're calling out your number, folks. Call out your number. Okay, so the running community is incredible. Oh yeah. But we're running, and all of a sudden this guy, Bradley. That's right. That's from right. Columbia, right? Oh yeah. Bradley's like, hey. Do you know Jess Powell? And I'm like, are you kidding? Uh -huh. Dude, in any race that you're doing, look for his name. Just super nice guy, somebody you definitely want to be around. But Bradley's out today, having a blast. That's right. What's our goal today, Bradley? This race, man, it's my first yeah. race. Oh, it's seriously? First race like this. Oh, dude. It's ultra like this. Oh, ultra heck hard. yeah. And man, I'm like, I'm thinking about what I want to do. Yeah. The only thing I can, wrap my mind around is you versus you mentality. You're not fighting anyone here, man, but you. Yeah. Your heart, your mind, your legs. So uh, I'm gonna go, farthest I've ever run is 26.2. So we're gonna try and do 30 plus today. The 95 or however many people are registered, I'm like, nah, man, I'm just here for me. Yeah. I'm here just to center myself, exactly. That's the beauty about stuff like this. You know, one, you got the community. Yeah. Kick ass community. Just everyone's so inviting. And then you got, man, this battle that it expands so much more than, so much more than just your feet hitting the ground, man. You can't beat it, man. You can't make, you got to go through it, though. That's the biggest thing. I probably needed this conversation more than he knows, but we're just going to go out and have fun today. Me versus me. That's right. That's right. Me versus me. Oh, I love it. Hi, man. Bradley. Yes, sir. It was great talking with you, yes, sir. I'll see you some more. That's right, brother. Me versus me would definitely be the theme for today. All right, Aaron, let's go. First person back gets a bag of coffee. Holy hell! Three, let's two, go! Go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Little status update. Feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. Lower back hurts just a bit from this hard week, but overall I'm fine. Tight. I'm feeling good. Um, not really that tired. Uh, hopefully 30 comes easily. Maybe we'll get more. Oh, I don't know. It depends. The course out at the Blackberry Ridge Farm is a 1.35 mile loop, and the first five laps you get 20 minutes each lap, and then the time goes down from there. Oh man, this is fantastic. Check this out. So half marathon prize. So out on races like this, this last man standing, he gives a a wide variety of runners an opportunity to kind of go well, through I stretch goals. No, 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 not like that. Not like that, but hey, what's your name? Brad. Brad, so I'm with Brad. And uh, Brad, we just finished, I think, is this lap 10? We're on 11. Now. This one on 11. Okay, so chatting with Brad and Brad said how many what's your longest distance three weeks ago I ran a 15k so like nine and a half miles 
And that was my longest race ever. And now you're at what? Now we're 13 and a half or so. 13 and a half. And so, man, you're doing great. Seriously, dude. Uh, I know it's not definitely not easy, you know, to to that stretch goal, but that's incredible, man. Do you have a yeah. good, what was your goal coming in today? Well, it was kind of the way I looked at it was like baseline was get to the half marathon. Yeah. And then uh, if we have a phenomenal day, maybe we get to a marathon. Ooh. So at this okay. Point, let's just do another lap and see what happens. But well, hey, Brad, <laughs> uh, as we climb this hill, just know we'll be cheering for you. And uh, when it gets dark, we'll we'll be there with you, okay? <laughs> we ain't making it to something. Oh, whatever, buddy. <laughs> Uncle Dave will be pacing the beer lab runners. <laughs> Beer mile! Beer mile! Yeah. Oktoberfest yeah. mile! The sponsor of Sierra Nevada has a beautiful Oktoberfest beer. Ooh. So since we're running this event during the Oktoberfest yeah. time frame, we've got the sponsored Sierra Nevada Human Powered Movement Oktoberfest Ooh. loop. Yes. I That's love right. it. We got the wildflowers, we got the Hofbra House happening, and some nice cold Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest beers. If you can't tell, this is such a fun race. There were so many distance PRs during this race. This is Wes Maxwell. He's an incredible photographer and a friend. If you'd like to see more of his work, you can always give him a follow on the gram. But now it's time for another lap. Oh, dude, you are! What the heck? Yeah, boy! <laughs> you remember Brad from earlier? He ran over 21 miles. Bravo, sir. So that's my son, and he's at mile 26, and still looks fresh. His longest run before this was nine miles, and today he completed over 29.7 miles. So I'm almost six hours into a last man standing race. 28 miles. I'm giving it everything that I have. Man, it has been a lot of fun, but I am really hurting. Well, I didn't make this lap. I gave it everything I had. This is just a reminder, you can do hard things. You keep pushing until you have nothing left to give. Now to this young man. What a way to celebrate your birthday with a 50K. And oh yeah, winning the 50K lap? Bravo, young man. Mr. Beaver is proud of you. Here we go, baby. Let's Atta go. boy. Let's go, baby. Woo, come get your towels. 45 seconds. 45 seconds. This will be lap number 25. I'm just saying, this next lap, we're giving away goodies. We got a hot lap. And this guy was so fun to watch throughout the day. He not only ran with a sledgehammer, he ran with a rooster, and on his final lap, he pushed a wheelbarrow. Bravo, sir. But now this is where the fun goes from a 10 to an 11. This is my friend Preston. What in the world? <laughs> Unbelievable. He's running his longest distance. 90 seconds, 90 seconds. We're giving away a Maddie's Diner gift card and, almost more importantly, Squirrel's Nut Butter. Now's the time to bring out the Squirrel's Nut Butter. See, the story goes that his friends told him if he only ran one more lap, he would be at 40. But that wasn't 100% the truth. So he had to do one more lap after that. Bravo! And he finished with 40.5 miles. Bravo, Preston. 
One more time at 14, then what do we do? What do we do? We drop it. Lucky we number, drop it. lucky <laughs> number 13. Oh boy. The psychoactive crew and volunteers at this race are honestly the best. But after all the hours of running, it finally came down to these two guys, William Hill and Caleb Beatty. After 47 laps, Caleb Beatty would take the win with over 63 miles. Now to all of the runners at the Psychoactive. I wanna say a sincere thank you for the encouragement, for the conversations that kept me going. I came into this race extremely injured and I definitely could not have reached the distance I did today without you. I really appreciate it. Until we meet again on another trail or another race, adios. <laughs>